started equals false. These are just some things you'll understand in a second. So let's create our new uh, Windows form quickly, and you'll understand this is going to be our overlay, which is very very important. So we're going to call this one Direct X uh, Overlay, which this is where all my our good stuff is going to be drawn at. So. Um, Yes, 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 that seems fine to me. So leave this here for now. Uh, I'm just going to give it a name quickly here. So text is that, and then uh, its name is, uh, let's call it, um, yeah, so form. Just so we know it's a form. Direct X overlay form. And we're, then we're going to call here direct X, uh, no, 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 direct X overlay form, new form. That's what we're going to call it. That's a bad name. Just call it, you know, overlay form. It doesn't really matter. Overlay form. There you go. That's it. And I believe that is it. Actually, we need another one. Obviously, all these will be um, green underlined because we haven't used them yet. So that's fine. Able to hot. Actually, I think I'm putting a variable that we don't need to use. Yeah, we do need to use. Able to hot key again equals false, I believe. Or is this equal true? Let's find out. Yeah, equals true. I'm an idiot. Alright, so uh, we've got this now, and before we start working on the other um, on the other uh, form, which is going to be our main drawing form, let's just work with this one, and let's put all our methods here, and then move on to that. Okay, so let's get on with that. So it was hotkey again. So let's just before I, below our constructor here, let's just start creating some things. So private void. You don't have to write private because if it's private. It, you can just write void. Uh, get windows. Once again, guys, I, as I do my things, I know you guys like to um, sometimes mention improvements. Obviously, feel free to do those yourself. I do things on a specific method, um, although there is, there's a lot of the time, there's a lot of different ways of doing stuff. So don't worry about that. So try, if you see something you can improve, just improve it. And uh, if you want to leave a comment with that, then other people may be able to do that as well. So we need to try catch here because this is, uh, we're dealing with processes and we don't want to screw anything up. So we're going to go uh, catch exception X, just in case we make a mistake somewhere, we find out about it and then we fix it. Message box, uh, oops, box dot show, which is going to bring us a message box. And uh, hopefully you should be looking forward quite a bit to our next tutorial, which is going to be a good one. Uh, just getting myself a bit of space. Uh, the ESP is something a lot of you guys have asked for for a long time, so I'm, I'm very looking forward to doing that, even though it's a difficult one. And uh, I wasn't able to do it fully myself, but um, quite a bit of it is mine. So, um, But I'll give the credits to whoever deserves them when we get there. So, for in uh, catch message box show, we say could not connect process um, and then we go plus exception dot message so ex dot message all right and just get that and that should be fine uh, and then we go on that try we're gonna go for int i equals zero if i is less than my process dot length and if you can recall my process is the array we declared at the top which is going to hold all processes and we haven't thrown anything into that yet which we'll deal, deal with in a second so then we say if uh, game uh, window game selection yeah so game window combo box dot selected item selected item where's item there it is dot to string uh, also guys has any of you uh, tried the um, the Visual Studio 2012 version. I've only, like I said earlier, I've only just downloaded it uh, last night. Uh, I haven't tried too much of it. I only just went up for like a second. Uh, what do you guys think of it? Please let me know below if you or leave me a PM or something. Because um, I haven't seen anything special so far, even though I've only dealt with it for like five minutes. Um, I haven't actually found anything special with it. So I was wondering what you know if there are any very cool features. Some of you already mentioned to me before and recommended for me to download the um, that version but um, I just don't see, I, I like the new cool layout but other than that I don't see what's special about it. Alright so main window title uh, so here as you can see what are you talking about? Main window title uh, what have I made a mistake on? Oops, yeah, game choice window which is a string so what we're saying here is we're saying we're going through our windows and we're saying uh, because we grabbed all processes we want to make sure that that process is uh, only allow it to go on the combo box if it's a list um, if you, it's like, 
Yeah, so only allow it to, to be stored there if it's an actual window. Uh, so if it's just the process, ignore it. Because obviously there's processes without windows related to them. In this, in our example, we only accept windows. Because we grab the window and then we work with it. So we've got our get windows complete. And we move below it and then we do our uh, initialize colors. This is going to be an important one. So uh, private void or just go void initialize colors. This one's going to involve a bit of copy and pasting, which is good stuff. So color, CH. Of course, feel free to add whatever colors you want on this, guys. So it goes new color, CH. And that once again, if you want to go to the key input um, class and see what this is about, uh, I was the one who created this class here, which is something very straightforward. Color dot red, uh, which is very straightforward, and you should be able to understand it quite nicely. So red. Um, so what we're saying is we're assigning a new color, so our colors didn't get stored in our um, in our um, list that we created earlier, and da -da 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 -da, uh, that seems fine. And they get stored in our list that we created earlier, and then we work with it when we pass it on to the crosshair. So lime, let's call it lime green. Um, green. I probably shouldn't be doing this these many colors in the tutorial, but I might as well just copy what I was doing there. So blue, then light blue, blue, uh, then black, then white. Let's just paste this a couple more times. Come on. Black, white. Then we've got purple, which is great. And then we've got uh, yellow, 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 and then pink. Uh, and then that's it. That's it for our colors there. Um, obviously, we need to assign them and change the names. So let's change all these names. Uh, so lime green. Then we've got green, blue, uh, light blue, blue. Uh, then we have black. Then we have white, purple. And the reason why we we've got these strings here on the side is so. Uh, we display that exact text on the uh, combo box. That's where we override our dot string dot um, to string. So as you can see here, our color CH. We've got our public override to string, and then we just return the column name. Uh, but don't worry about that if you don't really um, understand it, which is quite a straightforward thing. But if you don't understand it, don't worry about it. it doesn't matter. Uh, also, what we have to change here is we've got to go lime. Oh come on! Fuck, yeah. uh, here you want to go dot green, green, and we have uh, blue, obviously, blue, yeah, my typing is terrible today, and all the other days as well, uh, light blue, uh, red, I'm just going to do a quick fraps test to make sure we're recording, we are, that's good, I uh, don't like re-recording, so that's a good thing, so black, and then we have red, uh, black, and then white, and then we have purple, obviously, purple, uh, and we have yellow, and finally we have pink, 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 and then we say crosshair calls dot uh, add, and all we're gonna do is add all these things to our thingy. So let's copy this a bunch of times, just you can hear that copying away. Um, and then we're going to go red, lime green, green. Oops. So just copy all this and paste it. Uh, uh, blue, light blue, black, white, uh, black, and then uh, light, uh, white, sorry, uh, purple, then yellow, then red. So there you go, that was a perfect count, I think. Uh, yep, so that seems fine. And then we say, say for each. So we're adding all those to our uh, column here. So color ch. Come on, fucking hell, man. This compiler is really not being nice to me today. Yeah, well, you're expecting. You're not letting me type, are you, you dumbass? Calls in crosshair calls. Yeah, thank you very much for nothing. Um, okay, so color, color, um, is it color? 
uh, selection. So it's color combo box dot uh, items dot add. And then all we do is we're going through this list that we just added and we're adding everything into our combo box. Okay, so we just say calls. Uh, yeah, calls. Yeah, so we're just adding every individual color. And then we say color combo box dot selected index equals zero. Okay, so that should be quite straightforward. Uh, there you go. So that's our initialized colors done. And we just call that in our, let's see what we call that. Oops, let me just get rid of this quickly. Put it on the other side. So we call that on our form load. So if we haven't got a form load yet, let's just double click here. Yeah, so initialize colors right there. That should be all right. And there you go. That's that one done. Um, let's also change the size of this one here. There you go. That should be good enough. Wow, for some reason it's been really, really slow recording today. I really don't like this. I better not be having low frames per second. Um, so once again, after our initialized colors, we uh, do our, um, we've got our main form main load. Um, we need to have our, um, let me call a couple of things here. So on our main form dot load that we just created at the top, let's just declare a couple more things here. So is loaded equals true. Um, we need to call initialize oh, for God's sakes scale these haven't been declared yet guys as you probably know so set default crosshair just want to write these here so I don't forget to add them later because if I do then um, I'll be screwed so uh, what we're going to create now is our set default crosshair uh, so just below, below here so set default crosshair so void set default Crosshair. Seriously, stupid hot here today. Can't believe it. All right, so int def uh, cross uh, equals zero. So equals zero. So the reason for this is um, let me just write this, and I'll try and explain it afterwards. So if def cross equals equals zero. Normal crosshair button dot perform click. So all we're doing is we're putting fake clicks here. So um, and then we're doing a, a bunch of them. So da -na 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 -na. so equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty Set the full crosshair just do normal crosshair dot button dot click. Um, the reason why I have this is because on my other version I had a save settings method um, which saved all previous settings. So I was just checking if last setting was um, circle dot crosshair, then we put that one back on. But don't worry about that for this one. We're trying to simplify things, not complicate them. So that's that for that one. Um, initialize scale is what we're going to do now. So void initialize scale. And that's very straightforward, as you'll see here. Um, so scale, uh, scale comma box. Or then I call it size. Yeah. So size comma box. On my other one, I call it scale. So don't worry about that. Dot items. Dot add. Small. Um, just gonna do that again and again. Medium. Large. We add them all, and then we just say that size dot selected index equals zero. So we just start at small. Um, once again, if you got if you guys in the end download my um, my other version, you should have the save settings and all that. So you'll see a bunch of different code, but mostly the core stuff is all the same as this one. So we've got that, and then what we got to do is we got to say double click here so we get this and we just call get windows so can't forget this bit um, what else am I missing so that's fine um, color selected uh, this here we double click there and all we say here is we say color uh, no not color box picture box do I have that yeah dot back color equals crosshair calls color selection so color combo box I think yep dot selected index so all we're saying here is we're saying if you chose uh, let me just finish this and yeah so I'm gonna call a function here that hasn't been created yet so we're gonna call that in a second so all we're saying here is we're saying if you choose for example red 
on this on the color selection